Hi, crafty friends. Hey, I wanted to share one of my favoriteest, is that a word? I think it is, um, projects ever because I'm a little obsessed with sunflowers. So these uh, placemats are from Dollar Tree and I sure hope that they have them back again this year because there's so many things you can do with them. But what I did was I cut the back part of it off and then I just started cutting in between the flowers because we are going to Mod Podge these on to these tennis shoes. So I started out with the big scissors just to kind of get around some few areas. And then I needed to go to a smaller pair of scissors so I could really get in between the petals and stuff. And what I decided to do was like, see the one I'm working on here where my thumb is up against it? That's got a nice long flat edge to it. So I thought, ooh, we could put that right along the edge of the shoe um, where it meets the, the sole. So that's why I'm really taking my time to go through and really cut out all that background green color because I don't want any of that part um, to come through once we get these onto the shoes. Now, if you guys haven't used the Mod Podge that's for fabric, it is so awesome. I love it so much because it's so durable afterwards, which is really cool. So I just put it onto the shoe itself, onto the back of the fabric, lay it down, and then put the um, Mod Podge on top of it as well. And I ended up putting the white laces back in this, but I thought after I had done this project, oh my gosh, I should have found like some yellow laces or even maybe some brown ones because it would match um, the inside of the flower. Ooh, I don't know. So just a thought um, for next time because I definitely want to make more of this. Now on the back of this fabric, see how I'm peeling this little part off? Sometimes it didn't affect the way I was Mod Podging and then other times it did. So I ended up really making sure the parts that it was coming off of. I don't know if it's like, um, oh gosh, what is that called? Um, oh, I'm totally blanking on the word, but like a liner that goes on the fabric. Once that was off, it really um, laid down a whole lot nicer. Um, so that's just something to be mindful of. But if you were just using, you know, regular old fabric or something like that, you wouldn't even have to, to really worry about that. So you can see I'm using a liberal amount of the Mod Podge. Um, and it was, I let these dry really, really good because I wanted to make sure everything was nice and set. And I was even thinking, oh wait, okay, so um, I did a 24 hour dry. I didn't even read the directions, I probably should have. <laughs> um, but I was even thinking if I needed to put a top coat on after that, I could, but I didn't. It, I mean, and these have held up so great, so. No worries, but again, this is fabric Mod Podge, so it's different. So make sure that you um, look for that if you do try a project, uh, a project like this, blah, 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 all the words. All right, look how cute these are. Are these not the cutest things? Seriously, one of my favorite projects. All right, friends, thanks so much for watching, you guys, and don't forget to follow the page for more crafts.